Montana are giving themselves a present this weekend, a gift that started as one man's labor of love and then became a community dream. NBC's Roger O'Neill is in Missoula. Roger, I am crazy about carousels, so I'm really looking <laughs> forward to this story. You'll be crazy after we get done, Kitty. I'd <laughs> like to introduce you to a fellow named Bud. And over here, this guy is Evans Gone. But the most important horse of all is Columbia Bell, the lead pony on a 38-horse carousel. This is the gift, a carousel for Missoula. It's a dream that's come true, and for 50 cents a ride, you can dream too. <laughs> I like it a lot. <laughs> the painted ponies have people excited, and for good reason. For four years, the hands of more than 200 volunteers have been transforming blocks of wood into colorful masterpieces. Carvers, sanders, painters, mechanics, glass workers, a community of people who caught the fever, each for a different reason. From John Thompson, a professional artist. I couldn't see living in Missoula and not being part of it. I mean, you know, 50 years from now, my kids can come down here with their grandkids and say, look, you know, Dad did this. To Jim Evans, whose wife passed away, but found a new reason to get up in the morning, and now a new girlfriend to boot. Let's do this one. And Cindy Joslin quit her job so she could volunteer. She knows the names of all the ponies. This is Red Ribbons. This pony is named Snapples. This horse is Columbia Bell. To help raise money, all the ponies were adopted. That's good. A local builder bought, designed, and named Hard Hat. An avid golfer did the same with Bogey. And Missoula school kids collected a million pennies to buy four penny ponies. And just look at that. Can you believe we carved every one of those things? As nice as the gift of a carousel in a small town like Missoula, Montana may be, Jeff Badenock knows something much more important has happened here. He's the redevelopment director, and he has seen the spirit of this town change as the carousel was built. This was a dream that the community took on. And I think in making dreams come true, we're also able to show that we can handle some of the more difficult problems. That's just the way it should be. Look at that. Look at that. The Missoula dreamer, the man with the boyish rhetoric, was the man who wanted to build this carousel in the first place, is Chuck Caperidge. And his only demand after it was all done was to be the chief carousel operator. So Chuck, start it up. And let's go take a ride. What was it that got you interested in carousels, that it became a passion for you? I saw the carousel in Spokane, and it just blew me away to think that somebody would carve something like that by hand. And then I thought if they could do it 80 years ago, why couldn't we do it today? How could you get 200 people, many of them strangers, to dedicate four years of their lives to carving, painting, sanding horses? They came to me. It was, it was the craziest thing in the world. They'd hear about it through a friend or something like that, and they'd just show up in my shop one night, and we'd put them to work. People from 8 to 80 did this? Yes. From and 8 to 8, literally from 8 to 80. Is there something special about Missoula that allowed it to happen? There's something special about everybody here, and uh, they know how to work together, and they know how to pull together. And this, this shows that, and it shows that in just the brightest, cheeriest, most colorful, happy way it can. And while lots of carousels have been sold in this country, this one's never for sale. Not for sale, period, under any conditions. Katie, that's the magic of Missoula, the magic of this carousel. It's, it's unbelievable. Roger, there must be a lot, awful lot of good wood carvers in Missoula, Montana. How long did this project take again? A thousand hours apiece to do one of these horses. There's 38 of them. There were no professional carvers here, Katie. They went to a class and they learned from this man here. Well, they did an incredible job. They're absolutely beautiful. I can't wait to come to Missoula to get, try them out. It opens tomorrow morning. Okay, thanks so much, Roger, and thank you to Chuck as well. Thank you. Up next, inch by inch, row by row, Jeff Ball will help our gardens grow.